Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 29th, 2021. Let's see what we have for today. So anybody who's tuning in today, right after I film these, I'm going to be filming the All 12 Signs. It's really timeless, but it's going to be for like November 2021 release date. And we're still going to have all this Halloween stuff behind me. <laughs> so you'll be in the know as to when it's coming out if you're watching this video. All right. I'll be filming it, but it does. These take a lot longer to edit, so they might be up in a couple of days. Okay. There it is. Strength. And it's 11. Now, I don't know if you can see my necklace here, but it says 1111 <laughs> on it. And uh, there's a message on the other side. Is it be true? I forget, but it's on the other side of it, too. Anyway, this is the number 11, Strength. Archangel Ariel, again, we kept getting Archangel Ariel through the weekly. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. And that's what it is. What we find is going to rock our world. And really, I, when I, I can't stress it enough, I think it's going to happen anyway. But people are going to be like, I told you so. I kind of did that when, like we had everything happen in 2020. I said, I said it was going to be rocky. I done told you it was going to be like stuff that we've never even imagined, right? Um, and of course, people who have different tools were actually predicting that very thing. Like if they're a Vedic astrologer or something like that, they had a very different approach to it and gave information on it, which is wonderful. Um, but this is definitely saying you're going to need your strength. I feel like preparation isn't how people have really been doing it. Although it's, it's a spiritual preparation is what I'm getting at here. And you have to be strong in that way. But I was going to say, although I did get a solar charger, I have a lantern where I could charge my phone off of what else did I get? Oh, I got a multi-tool. <laughs> I own a multi-tool now. I have a first aid kit. What else did I buy? That was ridiculous. Oh, emergency um, sleeping bag. And the electricity went out for 20 minutes the other day. If you think I didn't whip all that out, I was ready. I was like, what? What? I've got my solar charger right here. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> right next to me. I had it out. You know? I mean, life. What you going to do? But yeah, I had all this like survival stuff. And I was like, here we go. You know? <laughs> but it's not about being scared. There are going to be things that come up that it's beyond our imagination. Again. Sorry to bring that up again, but... Yeah, I think that's what we're contending with. It's going to be all right. Be in your, your strength. Now, again, everybody has a different blueprint, a different soul's contract. If you feel not in your mind, okay, so it's not like, oh, I just know I'm going to get everything I want in life and bear, you know, that's a great story. It brought a tear to my eye. Catch me next year. Let's see if it happened, right? <laughs> it's more from a heart space. And this is the big thing about manifestation that has always annoyed me. I don't know about you, but you can't just go, I'm the greatest and therefore I am. I mean, I guess there's some truth to that. You could be great. Sure. But if you say, I am a truck. <laughs> Why did I come up with truck? A truck. I am a truck. I am a semi from In-N-Out Burger. Check out last week's dailies. Uh, a semi. And that's just it. That's just it. If I think about it, no burgers. Okay. No, it's not like that. Now, listen, if you put your heart into it, someone weirdly may knock on the door and be like, here, here's your in and out delivery, but I didn't order that. <laughs> What's really going to happen is if you're not meant to be a truck, you're not going to be a truck. Okay. If you're not meant to have a cheeseburger, it's not going to show up for you. Now you could literally get in your car and go get one, but we're not talking about that. Okay. Let's not ruin the moment. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing about manifestation. We will sit there and get it in our head. That's what I want. And now I'm going to bring it. And some people are really good at this, manipulating that energy and bringing it down. And they're like, I'm going to feel it out. I'm going to feel it. And sure enough, it comes in, but are you happy? Say, so, yeah, cause I'm powerful. Look at me. I want, want, want that thing into my existence, but is it right for you? Is it? you lying. Okay, it's not. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> and what's more, if that wasn't in alignment with your soul's path or your soul's contract, now you just threw the energy off. Okay, now you maybe uh, didn't get a real soulmate coming in because you had your idea of what a soulmate should be and you drew in a karmic partner. Right? 
Okay, give that some consideration today. Leave your comments down below. As always, I'm sending you so much love and take care.